All right, boys, so I've been waiting all day for this new Roblox Blade Ball update to drop. And this timer's been reset like three or four times. I'm getting tired of waiting. So we're going to go ahead and head into the test server to actually just show you guys everything that's coming in this update, or at least most of it. Before we do that, let's go ahead and give away the Gobble Blade. We're going to go ahead and pick a winner from the last video here. All right, can I win it? My account is Cask Martin. Okay, well, it looks like you're going to win it. So let's go ahead and throw this username in here. Enjoy that. And anybody else that wants to possibly win a exclusive sword skin inside a Roblox Blade Ball in any of my future videos, then make sure to subscribe right now. Drop a like on this video and comment your username down below in the comments and you'll have a chance to win. All right, so the test server has almost 10,000 people playing it. People are getting impatient, man. Everybody's been waiting for this update all day. First off, it won't allow me to access it but there is a new winter spin system and okay i don't want to be in the game why all right anyways there's a new winter spin system in the game it's like the other spin system where you got to spin get the cool crate to get the good stuff and you got to do it over and over again until you get all the cool abilities and stuff to get the new items i literally had to spin over a thousand times probably and thankfully everything in the test server is free anyways the two new abilities here are death slash the power of a thousand suns at your fingertips and to upgrade this you need to get this m1 coin and this other one is titan blade and this one cannot be upgraded but it says enter a mode where you can use a massive glowing golden sword parry hitboxes are heavily increased with this ability and yes they are and we'll show you that in just a second so besides that also in the winter spins there are also some cool unique sword skins such as these the glacial scythe the ice dagger and then for the new exclusive little sword shoppy bobber guy over here there's sci-fi swords so the sci-fi swords you first get this blaster, and if you don't get the blaster for many rolls, then after about a guaranteed, like, 50 rolls, you'll get the blaster. And then level 2, if you don't get the twin blades, and after 250 spins, you'll get guaranteed to get the, the twin blades. And then also, at 200, there's this finisher crate, which I don't know what that gives you, so I'm gonna go ahead and just open the last 10 since it's free. And let's see what this finisher crate actually gives us, because I have no idea. Uh, what is this finisher crate? Alright, we're gonna open this sci-fi spin okay we got a free 10 spin so that's actually not that great i thought that was going to give me something else anyways if we keep doing this if we do it three more times we can get the twin blades here uh which i guess we might as well since it's free so let's go ahead and just collect all this all right so that should guarantee us that there we go there's the twin blades and then if we want to get the dual blasters we got to do 450 spins i don't know if i want to sit here and click another 20 times so uh maybe we'll do that in a little bit okay but anyways, now we got the Plasma Blaster, the Ice Dagger, the Glacial Scythe, and the Laser Twin Blades. Now, the blasters are cool. These are the first, like, pew-pews in the game, okay? I don't think we've had any pew-pews yet. So let's go ahead and try and check this out and see what it does. But now, these test servers are kind of small because a lot of people are just sitting here trying to get the new abilities because everyone wants to see what they are. But for the abilities here, we're going to go ahead and first use the Death Slash, and then I'll show you guys the Titan Blade. Let's go with the Death Slash first because the Death Slash is pretty... OP. Um, I believe it's pretty much a guarantee kill if you use it. At least from the one time that I used it, it looked like it was a guarantee kill. So we'll see. But let's go ahead and try it out again and see what happens. I want to see what this blaster looks like if they actually hit it over here. Okay. Oh, oh, we just shot into that guy's head, bro. Anyways. Uh, oh, we're already on standoff. We're already on standoff. Let's go ahead and do the death slash here. So once you do that and you hit it, it just launches it directly at your enemy. And I don't know if it's a guaranteed kill. So far, every time I've used it, nobody's been able to actually block that. I think it just launches it very fast. We'll try it out again and see if someone can actually counter it. But it is pretty good. Also, look at that. The winter spins actually made it in here, man. They're actually... Look at that. It's actually in here now. And it looks like we're also getting, by the way, a winter battle pass, which I'll check that out in just a second because that just got added to the test server, I guess along with whatever this is hellfire evolution okay there's a lot of stuff coming out it looks like anyways let's try and see if this is a guaranteed kill with this okay well i used it but you, you do have to use it i guess whenever the ball's coming towards you like you have to hit it kind of time it right pew pew Okay, that guy's dead. All right, I want to test this out. I want to see if it's a guarantee. Okay, I got to hit real quick because I'm going to die if I don't. All right, pass the ball. I literally pressed Q. Okay, well, think you're, I had to be a little bit earlier than that. That's kind of weird. I don't know why I didn't 
work. Anyways, here's the winter battle pass. Uh, and now we can actually go back in the winter spins. Uh, eh, all this is kind of meh. The spins are way cooler than the battle pass, and the battle pass is kind of just bleh. But, all right, let me try this death spin thing again. I want to see if it actually is like a guaranteed kill if I can do it right. All right, but the only thing is it's kind of hard to like predict. Like you have to like, I think like, okay, now there we go. Yeah, you have to do a little early. All right. Oh, okay. I didn't, I, I missed. I didn't click perfectly on time. It's still f threw it pretty far, but it's got to be like perfect. I don't know if when it is perfect, if it again is a guarantee or not. Yo, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. All right. Thanks. All right. Let me see now. All right. Bro, why does it not work after you try to use it again? Anyways, let's show you guys the Titan Blade. This thing just makes it so if you're bad at the game, I can hit the ball from like way further back and I don't have to try. Like this is this is pretty much like a newbie ability. I don't think it's worth it either that because you have to open so many crates for it. It kind of just like lets you not be good at the game. It just lets you like sit there and not have to learn anything and you could just be bad at playing the game and it also replaces your sword skin it looks like so i don't know like it's kind of nice because you have extra time to hit the ball or like an extra radius to hit the ball but it's like it's like nah but the other thing is they did preview another ability right and they showed it off in the discord server like this little icon logo dingy and i don't see it in here so I, there might be a third ability unless it was like an early logo for death slash that they had like the other day uh, also, I think that guy right there just had a successful death slash counter, but it looks like it didn't really do much. No, that was too early. Okay. Yeah, wasn't this weekend supposed to be like the new uh, Dragon Dude Part 2 update? I don't know. I thought there was supposed to be a new Dragon guy coming out. Oh, look. Rebooting. This battle pass isn't that great, man. I'm looking at it again, and it's pretty much just credits. It's even the, like the advanced ones even like... I don't know if this is just placeholder. This has got to be placeholder, right? Because why is like all the battle pass gives you is just currency to roll. Oh, look, the M coin is finally showing up. Let's see if we can roll it and upgrade Death Slash. All right, man, this is not worth my sanity. All right, I had to already do this with a Titan Blade a thousand times, but all right, let's just read this. So in Death Slash, if you do get upgrade two, you get plus static electricity ability reskin and you get larger ball speed increment and lower cooldown. Pretty much the same exact thing, but the ball just goes faster and the cooldown slower. If you want to play around with the stuff, join the test server, do it yourself, see if you like it. And if you don't, just save yourself some money. Let's hope you guys enjoy the video. Drop a like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.